everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create this purple smoky eye using this palette, which is highly requested. It is the Born to Run by Urban Decay. We are using the purple tones, the RNG tones. I'm really excited about this look. Super easy, I know you guys can do this, so let's get started. Before I start this tutorial, I have to show you this. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It's a little pen. This is YSL and it's one of those like pump things, but it's perfume and it is so nice. It smells like heaven. Click and go. That's what it's called. There's so much I have to show you guys today, actually. I'm so excited. Let's get into this. So clearly I've already done half of one eye. I've also done the brow on this side. So this time I use this one by It Cosmetics and it is in dark brown. It's still a little light for me. So I just went in with a bit of black eyeshadow and set it. Urban Decay Primer. You have to use a primer for this one, right? Because I tried doing this look without a primer and it did not work. I'm gonna be cutting the crease later. So I'm gonna keep this brush for cutting the crease, but I'll show you guys that in a second. As always, the brushes that I'm using are by Glen Chemist Cosmetics. This is the nine piece set. I know a lot of you guys have already ordered this already. All of the brushes that I use in my Monday makeup lessons and it's the only set that you need. Check out the description box, I have a discount code. The palette that we're using, I've only showed you guys at the start of this video, but it is this one by Urban Decay, the Born to Run palette. We are going to start off by setting very, very slightly. A little bit of the lightest shade from this palette just with a blending brush and literally we're going into the crease area just like that just in this like this area here, not on the lid, not on the brow bone, just in this area here. And then we're gonna go in with this orange eyeshadow. So by applying this as a little bit of a base, it just gives this something to sit on top of so it will blend for you. If you're amazing at blending, just go straight in with the orange. We're gonna be using two brushes, one for applying, one for blending. And we're gonna take the gorgeous orange. So I'm gonna start in this outer corner and we're going over that area that we applied that lighter shade. And you see how much a smoother blend you get? And just working it in there. And this is going above the lid and into that crease. You're gonna blend this over and back, working right into that socket. And then I'm gonna switch to the clean brush and we're gonna soften these edges here. So I'm just gonna soften them. Now what I want you guys to do is take your fade shade. So if you're looking at this palette, I want you guys to figure out where's our fade shade in this palette. This is the color that we're using and what would be a matching fade shade for this? Did you get it? Did you guess right? This one right here. Apply a little bit of this and we're gonna go around the edges of that orange. So you're literally just going do 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 do, And you don't wanna apply too much, keep it nice and light. And then we're gonna take our blending brush again and we are gonna softly go back over that. But now we're gonna work on the lid. So we're gonna switch to a flat brush this time and we're gonna use the purple shade. So I'm gonna be using these two purples here. We may pop a little bit of this in and a little bit of this in later, but let's just focus on these for now. So I'm taking my flat brush, I'm gonna tap it into this eyeshadow right here, which is the matte shade. And the lid should be kind of slightly sticky. It's almost set by itself now, but it's still slightly sticky. And we're gonna start on the outer edge of the lid. I'm really pressing that in there. Press that down, all of that pigment off that brush, just really pressing it onto the lid. And try not to kind of disturb too much of what we've done up here already. The top bristles here are just ever so slightly catching that crease, but that will just spray these top edges out and I'll give you a kind of a softer blend so that the top of the bristles are very gently caressing the crease. Such a beautiful kind of purpley pinky tone. Now for the inner lid, I'm actually gonna switch to the shimmer. Start to apply this on this inner lid. Filling all of that in and then matching it up with the other purple. The black and the purple here just to deepen this look ever so slightly. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the black and I'm just gonna tap this on this outer sixth of the eye. <laughs> so like one, two, three, four, five, six, just on this outer edge basically. And I'm using the same brush so it has a little bit of a kind of a purple tone to it. And then I'm slowly bringing it up just to kind of caress that crease, just about to the halfway point. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this purple and we're going to kind of tap this a little closer now to the center. Now I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and just soften out this crease. I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush and apply a little bit more of that orange. I'm gonna lightly apply this around what we've already done. Apply a little bit of concealer on the back of your hand. And then what I want you guys to do is to take like a lip brush or something quite small. I'm gonna use this one, which is the L29. Go around the brows. And I take my pinky then and I'm just gonna literally like tap it like that. And that will remove the excess. Then I'm gonna wipe it off my hand. And then I'm gonna take a clean finger and just tap it over the top. And this will blend out that concealer. Give us a nice sharp line. 
I'm going to take this eyeshadow right here, which is what we originally used for the lid, and apply that over the top of the concealer for a nice, defined, sharp brow a little bit more of that concealer. So I'm just going to go to this inner corner just in here and just imagine that you're applying like a highlighter, you know? You're just gonna apply that right in that inner corner and then slowly bring it out just like so. I love the tip of this brush because it just allows you to really get into that crease and then bring it down. And then we're gonna take our ring finger and just literally tap it over the top and this will just fade it into the lid. And we're actually gonna use that shadow that we used underneath the brows. So this one right here. And I'm gonna tap this over the top of that concealer. Really focusing mostly on that inner corner and then feathering it across the concealer. Then I want you guys to take a little bit of the orange and a little bit of our fade shade, that kind of peachy tone, on the same brush. And I want you guys to sort of feather this so that we have like a little fade between the concealed area and then the purple that's on the lid. We're gonna take a little bit of that original purple and we're gonna apply that just where that kind of orangey tone meets the lid. I'm then gonna take a little bit of this other purple here, still using that same brush this whole time, and tap that over where the purple meets the lid and then take a little bit of the black and then fade the purple with the black onto the lid. And then we're going to apply a little bit of glitter. How beautiful is this glitter? It kind of has every tone that we've used on the lid in this glitter. And this is in the shade Grind. And I love these because they're like little eyeliners. Just gonna tap that over the top of what we've applied. And just take your finger and just tap it. Just so you're getting a tiny little bit of glitter and it's sort of fading from like tons of glitter into no glitter. A little layer of eyeliner, you may not need this. I'm just gonna coat right next to the lashes and kind of onto the lashes as well. I'm just gonna clean up underneath my eyes, apply the rest of my makeup and lashes and I'll be right back to finish off the look. So just a quick change to finish off the eyes. All I did is I took that lip brush that we were using to apply everything and just swept that underneath my eyes. I didn't apply any extra product. I just used whatever's left over. Lots of mascara and the mascara that I was actually using today is this one. It's by L'Oreal and it's the ultimate mascara. I think this is gonna be great for anybody who has problems with like their wrists, like maybe your arthritis or any problems like that. I think it's gonna give you a little bit more control because it literally bends. For the face, I tried out a new foundation. This is the Strong Matte by Essence, but it was just way too matte on me. My skin is too dry. I actually ended up using the Infallible, then in place with my favorite powder, L'Oreal True Match. And then just to take away the shine, I used this, and look at this. It has a little powder puff, and it's like a fluffy one. I love it. Paper palette on the rest of my face, on my lips, of course, let's cuddle. Great thing with this type of eye look is you can go for like a cool nude or, or like a pinky nude, because purple kind of works with everything, but I kind of like the orangey kind of lip with then the crease. I think that it kind of works together. Do you guys want to see more looks using this palette, or is there another palette that you'd like to see? This one is by Essence, and it is the Too Glam To Give A Damn palette, which I think is pretty cool. This one, which is by Wet n Wild, let me know in the comment section what palette you'd like to see, or maybe you'd like to see more looks with this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Definitely check out the other videos on the screen. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on Wednesday.